half the shit that happens on Star Trek Discovery. I'm like, what what universe did any of these people think that these characters from a quasi military organization would be allowed to act this way? I make I I mean literally I want to tear my hair out because what is being written as far as modern Star Trek bears no there's no semblance of reality in it. Just like why do people get mad at The Last Jedi? Because the character as depicted of Luke Skywalker was nothing like and look, if you want to show me Luke Skywalker's descent into where he wound up on Achto, that's fine. But you can't go from the end of Return of the Jedi to the end of The Force Awakens where Luke is sitting on a planet and then they sort of fill in the blanks. That is not good storytelling. That is subversion that does not work. And that's why people were like, wait a minute, we just watched Luke become a Jedi at the end of Return of the Jedi and confronting his father and the Emperor. And then in the next movie, he's not even in it because he's off on some fucking island somewhere because he's boo-hoo depressed. Well, I would be too. How did the First Order rise? I mean... I hate the sequel trilogy because it makes not a lick of sense. You go from Return of the Jedi to The Force Awakens, I'm like, what the fuck is this BS? I don't believe a minute of this story. It's terrible storytelling. It's a complete bastardization of the original Star Wars trilogy. You're asking me, can you imagine if you're a kid today, you're seven or eight, you discover the Star Wars franchise, and you're like, oh, I'm going to watch them in order. You go to the end of Return of the Jedi, you throw in The Force Awakens, and you're eight years old, and you're like, I would start bawling like a baby. I'd be like, Mom, what is this shit they're trying to shovel down my throat? Well, my mom would say, well, son, you see, Disney had to spend $4 billion to buy this, and they had to basically retell the original Star Wars over again, but in a postmodern way. So they decided to lose all the classicism, and they wanted R2-D2 to be sitting under a tarp so they could sell action figures of BB-8, because too many people have already bought R2-D2, son. I would have been like, Mom... This story's bullshit. I don't give a fuck about any of that. But somebody tell me a goddamn good story. I'm eight. I'm not stupid. That's the problem.